bottom line is even a half truth equals a whole lie. In politics, the truth often depends on which side you talk to. At a news conference Tuesday, the Democratic Party of Georgia announced what its leaders call truth teams, a grassroots effort to fact check critics of President Obama. It's modeled after similar efforts by Democrats nationwide. Georgia Democratic Party Chairman Mike Berlon says speed is key. And, and the goal of this is try to do a rapid response where we can actually respond in real time. They plan to use social media to attract some 30,000 volunteers statewide to help with the fact checking. One of the issues that we faced as Democrats is the inability to respond as quickly as Republicans on several of these issues, and this is a, a, a pretty good response to that. The second aspect is also involves super PACs, and, and we believe that this grassroots organization is going to allow us to also counter the effects of the super PACs as they run commercials during the course of the general election campaign. Sue Everhart, the chairman of the Georgia Republican Party, says the reason Democrats struggle with messaging is because the president isn't consistent with the message he sends. Obama is very smart when it comes to IT, and this is a, a quick way to pick up new email addresses and cell phone numbers, and he's going to use it for his rapid response to get out his message to run for president. Everhart believes this is an attempt for the Obama campaign to gain grassroots traction using technology the way they did in the 2008 campaign. Democratic leaders say the effort will in part tout the president's accomplishments during his time in office, but they also say they'll maintain objectivity in the fact-checking, providing annotations and links so Georgia voters can see the truth for themselves. For GPB News, I'm Sasha Horn in Atlanta.